very exciting news happening right now. <laughs> Nicole. It's might have finally a might leaving finally leave Hong Kong, which is fantastic. And why are you so happy about it? I think it's extremely important for you to spend as much time as you can at home. Oh. The nights. I thought it's because you want me gone. That too. It's more important <laughs> that you spend time with your family. Woohoo! Ever since Nicole came back to Hong Kong for her fourth year of medical school, she hasn't been able to go back to Singapore, meaning that she hasn't seen her family for almost two years. With all the travel and quarantine restrictions in Hong Kong, combined with our schedule in med school, the chances of her seeing her family in the near future wasn't high. Then came the fifth wave of the virus. 56,000 new COVID-19 cases in Hong Kong. With the latest surge, hospitals have been overwhelmed by the explosion in symptomatic infectants, making it far too dangerous for our clinical teaching. Whilst most Hong Kongers are still debating on whether a citywide lockdown would be enforced, our medical school decided to spend all face-to-face -face teaching for the next two months, and that gave Nicole the idea to go home. This would allow her to spend a much needed time with her friends and family back at home whilst attending all the compulsory teaching sessions online. With a minimum of a two-week quarantine still in place for travelers returning to Hong Kong, Nicole needed to arrange a trip back to Singapore as soon as possible in order to make the most out of this trip, with the earliest flight that she found being on Friday, giving her less than three days to get all of what she needed ready. Most of the items on the checklist caused a little hassle, showing a proof of vaccination, meeting the entry restriction, and getting an air ticket. But there was one small hiccup. One of the pre-departure requirements for entering Singapore was a negative PCR test that was performed within 72 hours before departure. As stated, the current wave of infections spreading in Hong Kong has led to a surge in the people requiring testing, overwhelming the testing facilities across the whole city. Not only were bookings for testing for the next few days hard to come by, but there were also rumours that there were major delays in test results being released due to the heavy burden. After making the decision to go back to Singapore, the next few hours turned out to be immensely stressful for Nicole and her parents as they had to make the choice of flying on Friday or waiting for a whole week, as well as balancing the risk of not getting the results back in time. They say 7 April is better. Oh, <laughs> fuck that, just leave. Hello? <laughs> this Friday and next Friday, 4th and 10th got a huge difference. It's one whole week. That's why I just book on 4, because I already got all PCR stuff settled over here. Did you see video? Oh, okay lah, then oh, yeah. off the video lah. Hi, Auntie. Hi! But okay, wait, I tell you first, I have no baggage bringing there. I'm gonna bring empty luggage. I wanna bring my stuff back to Hong Kong, not the other way. Uh, okay, la, that one we talk later. The PCR test is very difficult to book, so once you have the date of the flight, you have to let me know. Are you saying right now that I'm definitely not flying on Friday or Thursday this week? Okay, yeah, so, so as I said, don't, don't be too fast to do what? Okay? Okay. You can say hi to the camera. Chris is filming this. For his YouTube! <laughs> my makeup, you know? I'm not, I didn't have my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, 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 let's go.
而家冇得堂食㗎。哦。我都幾。After having a quick bite and heading home, Nicole continued to spend the next few hours scouring for available testing facilities across the city. And finally, luck was in her favor when an airport testing facility was able to give her a special appointment. This girl's going home. Woo! I'm going home. Woo! I only got confirmation at the airport for a four-hour COVID test. Oh my god, my heart is beating so quickly. This is mad. <laughs> Actually, the difference between going back this week and next week is that you actually get to spend the whole week on a holiday if you go back this week. But you don't have to think of it. Oh, yeah. School. Is your schedule going to change when I'm not here? Should we're just going to be more efficient. Not much. Everything's just going to be a bit smoother and less friction. Who? <laughs> the last obstacle out of the way, Nicole and I could finally chill out for the last couple of days in Hong Kong before heading home. We're roaming the streets of Kowloon City. The last We'll be filming together before I fly off to Singapore for a five week holiday. So, Christopher, how are you feeling that I'm flying back to Singapore? I'll miss you. <laughs> Guys, it's, it's real. What would you miss about me? Your presence. Oh. Elaborate. Bye, Chewie. 